Parental discretion is advised. This show is brought to you by IndieWrestling.us. Check out IWC, RWA, and more. And listeners like you, support this show at Patreon.com slash Wrestling Mayhem Show. Just wait, just wait. It is the Raw Wrap-Up. We are back. We are stretching our podcast muscles. I am Mike Sorg at Sorgatron on the Twitter in the Sorgatron Media Studios all by myself here in the Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania region of your world. Um, <laughs> seriously, I haven't been here in like two weeks, so uh, I'm glad to be doing this. And also glad to be um, – I was closer to his neck of the woods last week. Uh, he is with us. He is the only Mayhemer with a, with a future Endeavor letter from the WWE. <laughs> he is mad, oh, Mike. That is technically still true. It is still um, true. That's why I said it. Uh, you know, the funny thing is, Sorg, you were in Philly last week. I was. Philly is arguably about three to four hours away from Poughkeepsie, New York. And and I was there and chatted with two other former WWE uh, uh, employees. Oh. Well, that is a fact. Lovely. That is that's a fact. Lovely. Mr. Bruce Pritchard um, and Mr. Colt Cabana. Oh, excellent. Mr. Mr. Boom Boom, Mr. Scotty Goldman Mr. himself. Boom Boom. My wife had a wonderful conversation with him about pop sockets. Sort sort pop sockets? Yes. Okay. That's something maybe okay. we'll leave for gold. Okay. Um, you want to know something really funny? What's funny? Do you know where I was last weekend? <laughs> where were you? I was about three to four hours from Pittsburgh. <laughs> what? I was in Niagara Falls. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's right. That's right. That's right. About four <laughs> I, hours. I, about four hours. Well, no, I actually timed it out. I, oh, like, yeah? Because when we were getting ready to leave the hotel, I'm like, you know what I just realized? We're probably closer to Pittsburgh than we are to our home. And I was closer to you than I was to Pittsburgh, so... <laughs> Like for where you would met, be. We could have met like ships in the night, Sorg. Not entirely. Somebody random is waving at me right now. Hi, <laughs> late night in Beachview. <clears throat> ah. Anyways, this is the this is the this is the show where we talk about Monday Night Raw and do that kind of fun stuff. And you guys are on the on the uh, 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 Facebook Live, and I should be like pulling up the chat room and, and saying and hi, hi to you guys. Room. Hi, hi, Alex. Hi, Dave. Hi, Jason. I'm, I'm sorry, I'm on You're top on top of it. it. Thank you very much. Thank you guys I'm for joining us. Hello. So please I tell me um, your thoughts or responses to what we're talking about for Monday Night Raw tonight. And I, I put, I, I did put that teaser out there of, of which, guess which one of them just didn't like Raw. And I got to say, Mike. Whoa. Uh-huh. I really liked Raw tonight. Like, no, like, I'm not making excuses for Raw. Like, I really genuinely liked Raw tonight. <laughs> Raw wasn't terrible. There you go. <laughs> hey, you know what? That that's as best you're gonna get from me. That is true. Uh, if you get a collective uh, meh, you're good. I also did miss the first twenty minutes. I had some visitors in the studio. Um, you didn't miss much. Roman Reigns said, "Bitch." Uh, yeah, well, I caught that in the replay. So that that's that's basically it. <laughs> because because when 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 we need to put Roman Reigns over. We're like, God damn it! Let him say bitch. This is not the you show. I want to. I want to point out. This is not the show to point out that uh, Slammiversary uh, was more extreme than Extreme Rules. I'm. I'm just saying. Not the show for this. Maybe tomorrow night, uh, Alex. But uh, but tonight's all about Raw. And the big thing, as people have pointed I, I out, the bachelor party is more extreme than Extreme Rules. So. There's that too. There you go. Um. But but I think the big thing is we got the announcement. Ronda Rousey is going to wrestle next week. Uh huh. Sure she is. <laughs> did we officially sure make the is. bet did sure we officially make is. the bet yeah i'll officially pay up when i see it happen all right all right well i don't know how many bots there was but i got 20 bot hand over here that i'll throw in some direction i think this actually is already owed to you so i'd probably just be getting it officially back uh, okay that, work, that works for me something like that as long as there's a a thai currency exchange we good um <laughs> yes but but still kind of with it we didn't I, you know we didn't do a show last week since so i was gallivanting across uh uh, uh philly on a bus uh, or across the, uh, the, the the country of pennsylvania on a bus um so i was going to do a show last weekend i just i Guys, I watched a lot of wrestling last week. <laughs> yep, it like it's your job or something. But anyways, um, somewhat like that, yeah. Uh, but anyways, it's 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 uh, 
I like what's happening with the women. We had a lot of stuff going on with the women tonight. Um, I think we're pretty married to uh, having at least two segments like we had tonight for a I think while. Pretty married to Bailey and Sasha. If you hey, catch they got <laughs> matching ring gear. It's so adorable. Although, as one it's tweeter gonna pointed be really out, really great when Sasha turns on her right before evolution. It's gonna be a really you know you sh- okay okay but but I got well, s- I, I will say this. Bailey, stay the fuck away from barbershops. What? Oh, stay the fuck away from barbershops. That reminds me, we have a photo. Really, anywhere where you can get your hair done, <laughs> just, just, just stay away from it. Yeah, yeah, absolutely, absolutely. <laughs> it's not gonna work out well. No, no, it isn't. Um, although someone, some tweeter, uh, did point out that the boss and hug connection is maybe maybe not a great uh uh tag team name in the Me Too no, era. No, it's a terrible. No, name. that doesn't. That does not. No, it's that's it's kind a, of not okay. Yeah, because that needs to be consensual. Yeah. <laughs> just, just, just kind of. We'll just stick that in there, right? Yeah. No, no, you can't. That needs. Oh, to be I mean, no. I mean, I mean, you, you know what I mean. I mean, uh, oh, jeez, <laughs> oh, jeez. Sorg's ruined it. I've ruined it all. I've ruined it all. Ruined uh, we do. Uh, like... Poor Alicia Fox is going to get chewed up by Ronda Rousey. <sighs> but hey, least, good for Alicia Fox. At now least she's, she's getting a, some work. Now she is a cat. Yeah. Yeah. Um, you know, uh, some someone's got to be the mini boss to the mini boss <laughs> to the mini boss to the mini. So, oh. Someone has to. Someone has to be the person you fight right before you break through twenty five blocks of wood, or That's destroy it's, or destroy that poor fellow's car. Yes. <laughs> It's almost like you also went to replay FX this weekend <laughs> and played a lot of Street Fighter like I did. Oh, uh, geez. I did not, but I, I'm always kind of in that mindset anyway. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Uh, so other than that, um, I really enjoyed watching Brock Lesnar read a magazine all night. No, I retract that. Mm-hmm. I really love the meme of Brock Lesnar reading magazines all night. Mm-hmm. Uh, Thank my you. favorite, My favorite was the Playboy of Sable on it. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. As soon as I saw it, I'm like, and the Internet's going to Photoshop that in five, four, three, two. And there it was. It came up. Yep, that was quick. Yeah, it was. It's it almost. Was pretty... Do you think when they do things like that, or the the person watching on a monitor, they're just like the internet's gonna love this and Photoshop the shit out of it? Like, is there some that one writer back there that gets that, that slips um, those past? I think there is, but usually those segments are silent, so I have a feeling no writer even touches that. I mean, no, somebody still has to write. Put Joe in front of a TV. Um, I, give Brock I, a magazine. Yeah, but... Or do you think that's Brock's uncanny ability to ad lib? No, I don't think Brock was ad libbing at all. He legitimately didn't want to be there. He legitimately wasn't watching the show. He just wanted to read his fucking magazine. <laughs> hey, you're not going to be anything but an asshole, so we're just going to write around that. Yeah, exactly. That's that's how like it's happened. like it's like Joe Schmo, <laughs> except if Joe Schmo could really kick your ass. Mm-hmm. So. It's Samoa Joe Schmo. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm, I'm done. I'm done. Ah, I broke Sorg already. I'm done. I that was quick. Already, that guys. was quick. He gets back from workation and ima- immediately gets damaged. Um, ah. mm, mm. It's like you, it's like we're never gone. <laughs> <sighs> okay. The more things change, the more things stay the same, Sorg. Uh, so we do have our, our rematch from WrestleMania. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Uh, Brock Lesnar and Angle uh, getting set up. We do have uh, the the end of the. Uh... You, you really think so? No, no. I don't. No, no I, I don't think so at all. I think it's a callback. I think it's a secret callback for the rest of us that remember those days when Brock almost killed himself. See, see, here's 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 the disconnect. What they're doing with Brock Lesnar is working. Mm-hmm. Because he's been listening to you. It. Well, I'm not going. I'm not taking credit for that. I think he slipped something uh, under, under somebody's uh, door and be like, "Hey." I'm not. I can neither confirm nor deny anything of that nature. I mean, you never However, know who's going to be in the lunchroom. This is true. Um, but I see. The thing is, what they're doing with Brock Lesnar is working, except the point where he goes to punch Roman Reigns in the face because guess what he's gonna get cheered then <laughs> Mike he's gonna get Mike, cheered I just want to point out okay that's gonna happen in Brooklyn that will happen in Brooklyn right that's where right. the match is right but that's where, that's where that's where it can't happen 
But we have a night that was orchestrated, and your final pro- like again, uh-huh. I always want to say we no. yes we have the long tail, but we need to go I, a I night know you're, I know you're a night saying. by night basis, right? Yes. Like we did get a night where we uh-huh. engineered uh-huh. that the loudest part of the audience was saying uh-huh. we want Roman. We want Roman, right? And then guess what? Credits. Yes. Sorg. The most fundamental booking of Raw is if someone gets kicked out of the arena, they return in a comical vehicle. But but he was he was told no 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 in Brock Lesnar's car. He was told if he interfered, he would lose his title shot. Oh bullshit! We still have three weeks. That's the write off. That's the write off. We can lose it and get it back. You have Brock Lesnar is the shittiest heel, and now everybody hates him because uh, nope. uh, Angle speaking truth, Heyman speaking truth, Heyman got beat up, and everybody loves Heyman no matter what. You had Brock Lesnar as the shittiest heel for one night. That's right. And you blew it. Let me see and, next week. Uh, he's not going to be on next week, Sorg. Let me see what they do. Let me see what they, what they do. I, they, be on. they accomplished it for one night. That's step okay, one. Okay. Listen, um, listen, um, Mike. We are in the process of a step, tell a twelve-step program to heelify Brock Lesnar. Okay, we're on step like three. Okay, and we got to rush the rest of the steps for the next two weeks of Raw to get us to SummerSlam. Sword, so you sword. love Roman Reigns, or you love Braun Strowman being Roman Reigns. Sorg, Sorg, he ain't showing up again till SummerSlam. No, he isn't. No, I he no, I agree no. with you. See, here's what should have happened. You gotta paint this here, tapestry. Maybe Heyman comes back, and then he says, "I'll be your advocate, uh, Roman Reigns. I'll be oh, your advocate, on. Braun." No. Wouldn't be great if just Braun Strowman, you know, you know, Braun's having his match with Kevin Owens, and Heyman comes to the rescue, and uh, from from <laughs> Owens screwing him over, uh, and taking the taking the briefcase, and he's the new advocate for Braun Strowman. If anything. Paul Heyman should be the advocate for for Kevin Owens. No, no. Yes, yes. No. Because yes, because they will just be it'll be just like Heyman and CM Punk, which worked like. Okay, Bustos. okay, I'm with you. I'm with you. I'm with you. They can play off each other. Like, I'm with like, you on that. Because unless you're turning heel, you can't put Heyman with Roman. Unless you're turning Braun heel, you can't put Heyman with Roman. Heyman is such a good heel. You need to put him with a heel. My uh, because, man, Mike. Especially since, especially since Sami Zayn is out for conceivably the rest of the year. That's right. That's right. But he's doing good work with Serial Rep- Rep- He Rep- is so because he's him. Kevin Owens. He always does amazing work. But just imagine, just imagine, somehow, some way, Kevin Owens gets that briefcase. Then I'll even say it: Lesnar beats Reigns. Lesnar beats Reigns at SummerSlam. Mm-hmm. I'm going to say it. And then, like, Heyman's not even out for the match. Heyman's scared shitless of Brock at this point. And Heyman comes out. Heyman comes. He grabs the title belt. He goes to present it to Brock Lesnar. And he hits Brock Lesnar in the face with it. Kevin Owens rushes out from the back with the briefcase, smashes it in the face of Brock Lesnar. And boom, I'm new Universal say Champion. He doesn't hit uh, just one modification. He doesn't hit him because I, I'm not going to believe even even Heyman hitting Brock with a belt. Uh, Survivor Series 2002, Sorg. I would not believe it happening this year. <laughs> Survivor <laughs> Series 2002. 15 year older uh, Heyman and Brock Lesnar being but Brock it, Lesnar. But it's but, but it's he a Brock slaps Lesnar him. That, that just through a mad. It's just, it's a Brock Lesnar that just went through a really long. Too long match with he, Roman Reigns, and then he slaps him, and no one's comes out. And, okay, and hijacks him, because um, I think that gives you buys you your time. Hey, Mike, Hi, did you sir. notice? Did you notice the Mister Mister Perfect promo? Yeah, I thought that was odd. Followed by a segment Wait, with his son. Oh, that's really cute. <laughs> I didn't I didn't I didn't pick up on that, but yeah, that that's... I mean there was a little bit of a hey, check out two oh five live, blah 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 in between, but the next thing was a segment that involved the B team. And ne- next thing we're gonna see in April, we're going to see an IRS promo about doing your taxes, followed by another B team promo. Ugh, don't remind me about my taxes. <laughs> oh boy. Uh anyways. Uh no, I, I'm enjoying what's happening there and that we are getting the revival kind of involved in it. 
Um, I the B stands for dream, Sork. Uh huh. The <laughs> The B stands for dream. We're not all using the same alphabet. Um, there was something else. Also, AOP talks now, and that's that seems bizarre to me. They've been talking for a while. It's not necessarily the greatest. No. Um, Maybe. you know who? You know what they could use? Paul they Aring? could use a fucking advocate. <laughs> like like a Paul, a Paul like they used to have, but maybe a, a new Paul. Paul, a, a Paul, Paul someone. Pick a Paul. Paul Ellering Heyman. Levesque, anyone. I don't care. Just pick a ball. <laughs> uh, just pick random, a, just random. Pick I, I, I put in the board that I picked up WWE All-Stars. Mm -hmm. Paul Heyman sounds like Mickey Mouse, you guys. I don't know if I'm... I couldn't yeah. deal with it on that one. My client, Brock Lesnar! Yeah. 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 I just like, if I drew ears on him, I don't know if it's before or after his passing. I'm guessing after. That's definitely Undertaker talking in that scene, but man... Mm -hmm. I was I don't know it's because it was three in the morning when I was playing it, but um, it's been a rough couple of days, you guys. Uh, anyways, anything else from Raw that uh, kind of sticks out for you, sir? Uh, yes, and actually. also you chat room. Um, so Sorg, I'm not sure if you heard this rumor. Uh, the Rock wants to wrestle at WrestleMania. Does he? I wonder who he could face. Uh, someone's really pushing for it. <laughs> someone's really pushing for mm -hmm. it. Uh huh. Also, um, speaking of Elias, Elias exactly encompassed my mood when I go to do karaoke and someone's up there and doesn't know the words. What? Bobby Lashley didn't know the words. Oh, oh, but man, man, that is the most over Lashley has been with me since he came back. That's because he's working against an actual heel as opposed to Roman Reigns, who that is helps. not. That yeah. helps. Or Sammy, you know. The wily antics of Sami Zayn, who's driving his well, ass off. Good for him. Here, all right. Um, one thing though. Next week, I do not want to hear the ballad of the Lashley sisters. <laughs> I, I really I, hope I, we're I never. I don't want to hear that. I don't no. want to hear that. I'm saying that now publicly into the ether, so that it doesn't exist. So we can write it down and slip it under somebody's door tomorrow. Uh, no. Anyways. No. Good God. This... <laughs> Good God. Anyways, right. anyways, I can, can I can, uh, can I roll with that gag? I like that gag. I just I just I just imagine you have all this access now. But anyways, <laughs> but we won't say for who or where or what state that might be in. Uh, but anyway, nothing doing. Nothing doing. Nothing, nothing, no, nothing no, happening. Nothing doing. Nothing happening. Nothing to see here, folks. Bake them away, toys. <laughs> <laughs> um anyways uh, uh the chat room uh just more about owens and in, in stroman actually um i oh, by the way sword did you download the elias album um i did not well no i did download it i uh, it's on my apple or my google music okay i did not contribute to the apple music charts unfortunately but i've played it at least four times you're the reason he didn't beat drake I'm sorry, Elias. You're the reason. You're I'm the reason. sorry. I'm sorry. Hold on. Let me message him right now. <laughs> hold on, hold on, hold on. I might have been. I might have been. I might have been him last week. Um. <clears throat> so, Sorg, I have, I have a question. Um, which feud are you least interested in? <laughs> like all around, Mojo no, 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 Raleigh no, no, and I'm, anybody. I'm, I'm, <laughs> <laughs> I was gonna give you two choices. <laughs> Mojo Raleigh and Bobby Roode being one of them, <laughs> and and Lashley and Elias being the other. Oh, definitely Mojo Raleigh. Uh, okay. Although gold came from that segment. One Bobby La Bobby Roode is doing something, and we're reminded there are two there are two Bobbies on the roster. Uh, so right. three things. Um, and the other thing, Mike Mike Bennett. Good to see you, pal. Mike Canellis. Mike Canellis. Damn it, Mike. Power of love. Canellis. Canellis. That's how um, I remember it now. Well, um, Sorg, uh, I, I may or may not have firsthand knowledge of Mike Kanellis has actually been on a bit of a tear on main event. That's what I've heard that actually. No, actually, he's not. He's he's won one match since the shakeup. Well, that's and it, and it was it was a six man tag where he didn't even get the pin. Oh, oh, <laughs> but okay. but that was the entire cast of WWE main event in that locker room. Is that it? If you watch the main event, it's basically that, all those guys. That was the entire. I saw cast. Zach Ryder came back. 
Um, yeah, always Zachary's ready. Zachary's been back for a little while. Zach Ryder says, I'm always ready. He's done tweeting toys and yep. pictures of his really hot girlfriend. Uh, mm-hmm. And uh, and uh, well, hopefully, hopefully we'll be joining him in the, in the WWE sometime soon. Maybe, hopefully. Maybe. I, I, I have no knowledge of that at all, but I'm hoping she's in the May Young I hear things. I hear things. I hear okay. things. There's definitely. I, I I don't know if I've heard more than you've heard, but I well, mean, well, no, it I seems mean, she, like a very she good was possibility. On, she was on the NXT post. She was on the NXT like, post. I know she the was. The NXT yeah. post for tryouts. And stuff. They've been posting stuff with her. Um, she's been posting stuff for Performance Center. So I mean, it's just like you do the math, guys. That's it. Yeah. That's I it. That's all we're I doing. Also, we have not much. Be... We don't exactly have insider knowledge. We know people. We don't pry. We we just I, we just we're we're there, usually guessing along with you guys. I think there may be an issue though, hmm. because she might be on another television show. <gasps> That's right. Coming up soon, That's which is right. probably why we have not heard anything. They're just they're that. just gonna sit on that for a little bit, maybe. But I mean, I'm, and yeah. that's all part of the plan, right? There's a plan. Oh, you, know, you never know. Sorry, there's always a plan. You never know. You never there, know. There's not a plan with Raw, but there's usually a plan. <laughs> Everything else, then you get there. It's just like, what? You guys get paid to do this? Anyways, no, I, I was trying to get to Mike Kanellis. Um, I, 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 he, he recorded the whole he thing. He recorded the whole thing. <laughs> like, the only thing that would have been better about that video is if he jumped in and just said, World Star! <laughs> No, you paid me a tweet like right after that that airs, and obviously it was something that was filmed earlier in the day, right? Oh, um, and it's you know during main event. Um, but uh, <laughs> he, he, um, but he he's, he says a fight broke out in the locker room today, and I did what any uh, responsible adult would do: film it. And there he is on his phone from where exactly where you saw him at the beginning of that scene. First guy you see when Mojo walks in. Um, I was excited because I'm like Mojo's gonna feud with Canales. No, 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 no. Um, By the way, Tina said she's surprised that you guys didn't have an Elias listening party at the studio. If if we weren't traveling, uh, I think we would have. I think he should still do it. I think you they, know they get into a coffee house setting. You know, we're maybe you know before the SummerSlam party here, or I've been trying to pull together a a year party here in the studio, but that hasn't really panned out yet. I was trying to do it for next Friday, but if that were to happen, we're just going to play the Elias album. I made Missy listen to it this morning. <laughs> How'd that go? Uh, I I just asked uh, um, the Google Home to play it, and mm-hmm. there we go. I okay. It was something else though. Uh, from the chat room, I'm still waiting for Ryder to team with Hawkins. They were were they standing right um, next to each other? They were. Okay. Yeah. All right. They've, they've they've had a match against each other. On <gasps> nice. I wonder who um, won. Oh, I'll tell you who won. Okay. All right. No, I, no, I no spoilers. No spoilers. No, no, no. I'll catch it, it on the international ago. market. It was it was weeks ago. Okay. Uh, Kerr Hawkins is is still sitting on two hundred nine losses. Nice, straight, nice. So. He's like the, yeah. he's kind of like a Gilberg, but in better shape. Yeah, mm-hmm. I'll I'll grant you that. Okay. Yeah. Hey, uh, Alex Maris says Raw was a good hour thirty to watch. Okay. Okay. That's, and, that's and Tina says, "LOL," because World Star Hip Hop quality content right there. LOL. Mm-hmm. Yes. Yes. Man, Mike. Yeah. Hi. It's time to tell the people the thing that they've been waiting for this entire twenty-three minutes. Mm-hmm. How much of Raw was watchable for you tonight? I, I'm I'm kind of in I'm kind of in line. I'll say an hour and a half. Hour and a half. Hour and a half. That, I, that's pretty good. That's pretty good for me. I legit watched about. I guess roughly three hours since I was like 15 minutes late in, right? Okay. 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 So of the, the, of uh, the thing that really bugged me though and really took away a lot from me, I'm kind of done with Ziggler and McIntyre against Rollins. But he strained his hair. That's tremendous. Like, can we <laughs> can we just get to the eventual point where Dean Ambrose comes back? Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's a because, long tail thing. Yeah, like, like we know that's gonna happen because obvi- obviously, obviously. Roman is not going to be the the conquering hero for his little buddy all the time. Yeah, it wouldn't be great if it's just Chris Jericho instead. <sighs> I I'd rather it be so many other people besides Dean Ambrose. He can't come back because he needs like, to wrestle like, on a boat, you know, Mike. You know who I wanted to be? Hmm. I wanted to be a disgruntled member of the Spirit Squad. 
Mikey? Any one of them. Nikki? No, wait, no, no that's, that's Dolph. That was Dolph. <laughs> so, yes. Oh, my God. All right, if we if we could somehow, like, do a Earth 2 Dolph Ziggler and it's just <laughs> Nick Nemeth in a green and white spandex. Where he never he never left Nick Nemeth mode? He never, he never left. Even, even better, the caddy. The caddy Nick Nemeth. Oh, that's right. Yeah. That's right. Mm-hmm. The mm. caddy. The By caddy the way, of Kerwin. Blake. I love, I've caught this, like, two times in the last month when they yell at somebody in the truck named Kerwin. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, that's Kerwin White. Mm-hmm. That that's who that gimmick was based off. Wait, Kerwin White's like actually a real person? Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. I didn't know oh, yeah, that. No. Oh no, that was a long-standing rib. Oh no. That was a long. What did Kerwin do? Now he just gets yelled at in the truck. Nothing. He no. I I'm pretty sure someone just thinks he has a funny name. <laughs> Kerwin. Uh... Ah ah, Kerwin. Doesn't that sound funny? Doesn't sound like a real man. Oh boy. Oh boy. <laughs> Reasons I don't want to actually work for WWE part one. <laughs> oh, <geez. laughs> well, it's not on that level that I'm in a headset with somebody. <laughs> uh, well, you said your thing. I'm going to say mine is officially, I'm going to go 215. Okay. I liked it. I liked a lot All of right. it. I had fun watching Raw. I had Raw fun. And thanks to uh, my new friends on Twitter that I was messaging earlier tonight that I want to get their Twitter name, and I forgot it right now. Um, I believe they are the Shining Wizards podcast. Um, I I think we're going to restart the Nitro Party concept. Oh, no. Oh, Oh, Here's the thing. I wanted to follow up with this, right? Shining Wizards, uh, I'll give them a shout-out on here, Um, Wizards podcast on the Twitters. Um, uh, so we, I don't know, they, t- they took a picture of this, them, hey, new podcast is up, and it was just like a picture of them with ECW on the TV, I'm like, mm-hmm. and I'm like, I'm glad to see somebody starting, a, 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 still doing Nitro parties, right, and and we kind of went back and forth. By the way, I wanted to look up, where are they now for the Nitro Girls? I bet you could hire a Nitro Girl to show up to your party, because not um, all of them are going to be doing good or married to Shawn Michaels. Or, you know, Stacey Keebler. That too, that too. I don't know. How is she doing these days? I'm, I'm assuming well. Yeah. <laughs> oh, wait. She married like a football guy or something, right? I Football or hockey or uh, something. Football like or that. hockey and had a George, George Clooney phase. And yeah. had an Alex Rodriguez phase. Oh, my. Oh, my. Yeah. Uh-huh. Yeah, she's, she's doing fine. So, so if we were going to do a Nitro watch party thing, we should do it in reverse order. How, how, do, you, <laughs> how do you mean that? <laughs> Start with the last episode. Oh Four god! Backwards. Then we had no more parties. Four backwards. That would be amazing. I think. Yeah. That could, I, th- I think that'd be really fun. I have new ideas. I have new ideas, start guys. From the, start from the last episode. Of thank you backwards. so much. This is the raw wrap up. Uh, thank you, Tina, Alex, John, uh, Wheels, and Dave, and so many more. Brandon, Andrew, uh, in the chat room with us tonight. Uh, we will be back 9 p.m. Eastern time. Tuesday night with the Wrestling Mayhem show. We will have, uh, we went and have a little bit of a ladies' night, so I, I, I sent out I sent out a lot of invites, and just like in high school, I got rejected by a lot of women. Um, but we did get, we did get Honey Badger, who I understand <laughs> brought a party with her to Revenge Pro. I can't wait to ask her about this tomorrow night. Um, I'll tell you off air, Mike, but it involved beer and the Badger song. And, and like New Jack. I, 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 that's, that's the explanation Excellent. I got today. Um, I, I like this already. And also, uh, uh, Lola from, um, uh, I don't have everything in my head right now, uh, from the, oh, the British guys. Come on. I'm going gonna, I'm, I'm gonna to have this here. It, I swear. Um, progress? No, 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 no. She's not a wrestler. Um, oh. Lola Bradbury from the TWM News UK on the tweeters. Uh, on their podcast, uh, she contributes over there. And she will be joining us for the first time ever on the show. Uh, so it's going to be a little bit of ladies' night. And, uh, Mad Mike, I think you're going to wear, like, a wig or something so you can be included. Is that, is that I mean, the... I, I could. Yeah, absolutely. Is, it, is, is tomorrow going to be the introduction of Mad Michelle? Um, actually, it's uh, Mad Michaelina. Ah, Michaelina. Michaelina. It's Lithuanian. Yes. Uh, yes, my, Mad Michaeline. 
<laughs> all this is appropriate. Uh, <laughs> awesome. So go join us again, 9 p.m. Eastern time. And we've scheduled some great stuff in the next month. We are going to have Matt Light, Comedian Matt Light, the one from those Stone Cold Steve Austin memes. Um from for the Pittsburgh Improv that we're going around, he is uh, assisting with Black Craft Wrestling that's making a, a big splash here. Sold out eye pay per view. He'll be joining us next week on the Wrestling Mayhem show, and then later in the month we have Joe Dabrowski, announcer for Future of Honor um, on Ring of Honor's uh, YouTube channel, as well as a Victor Benjamin, a Savage Gentleman, and a Lady Frost who maybe have been on Raw before once or twice, uh, will be joining us for Wrestling Mayhem show in a couple weeks as well. This week we have two announced Indie Mayhem show interviews on Wednesday night, and we may have two more in line. So I may have everything recorded for the month as of this. So we'll see where that goes. Oh, also, please damn. check out everything IndieWrestling.us. The video on demand on Vimeo has been going hot. You guys have been really responding to that, and I'm hoping... I'm trying to put dot the I's and cross the T's on a couple few things and try to make a thing. And we may be launching something in the month of August is my hope to you, not my promise. So keep an eye out for that. I We're trying to make uh, indie wrestling even more accessible to all you guys. Thank you, everybody, who's been supporting it all around the world. I can't believe how many people from Japan are downloading indie wrestling from Pittsburgh and Cleveland right now. Nice. That's it's been uh, the stats have been incredible on uh, the new platform. Sorg, Sorg, I'm pretty sure you have to say, arigato. <laughs> Ar- arigato. There you go. Until next time, Mad Mike 4883 at Sorgatron on the Twitter. Keep it raw.